Hi, Stephen from Own or Disown. Well, today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the 6 core 12 thread chip in this Prestige 15. That's the i7 10710U. It's a 15 watt TDB part, um, but you know, in uh, CPU workloads, it uh, runs at about, about 45 watts, and in gaming, it holds steady on about 25 watts. And it's got a, a GTX 1650 Max Q. I'm going to be comparing it against. The Yoga C940. Now that's got the uh, i7-9758 CPU, so that's a 45 watt TDP 6 core 12, uh, 12 thread chip. Um, now this typically holds 45 to 50 watts across the board, and uh, but also has the uh, 1650 Max Q GPU, so it should be a nice comparison. And they're both pretty similar machines, to be honest with you. You know, they're all pretty same size, same type of cooling, so I think it should be quite a good comparison. Plus. The C940 does tend to get a bit hot, so it does sort of throttle down a little bit on the CPU, and consequently, it's probably one of the weaker 9750s out there. So it should be quite a meaningful comparison. So let's take a look. Take Cinebench R20, for example. The 9750H in the Yoga scored 2,383 points versus 2,266 points with the 10710U. Now, that's a difference of only 5%, but... The same CPU in the Mac 17 scored 3,137 points. So yeah, if you have a laptop with more thermal headroom, your results will be much greater than the 10710U. And same is true in a long encode using handbrake. Here, the 10710U turned the tables on the Yoga C940, besting it by 7%, but the Mac 17 beat out the Prestige 15 by 22%. Now here's an interesting one. The Comet Lake 10710U totally owned the 9750H in the 7-zip benchmark, so it clearly is better at handling zip files. It's quite amazing, really. Let's take a look at Blender, where six images are rendered and the time taken is recorded. I added up each test and showed the final score in seconds, so lower the time, the better. This time, the 9750H slammed the lower-powered 10710U by the tune of 17%, which one would expect. Now the main culprit was the last render, which was called Victor, and that took an hour longer on the Prestige 15. How about the Adobe Suite? Is the 10710U good for content creators? Well, in the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark, the 10710U does extremely well, scoring 732 points versus 567 points on the 9750H. Sure, a faster system than the C940 would close this gap, but 29% is quite a difference. As for video editing, I used Adobe Premiere Pro to do a software encode and measured the time taken. So, lower the time the better. Again, the i7-10710U does well. 10% faster than the 9750H. So it does seem that the new Comet Lake CPU is really good for handling photo and video work. Now, summarizing the CPU tests, you see that the 10710U wins 4 of the 6 tests, and on average is 8% faster than the 9750H. Now remember though, the 9750H in the C940 is probably one of the weaker ones I have tested. Now onto some gaming. Here are my settings in Apex Legends. So a mixture of low and medium really. The C940 is holding a higher GPU clock, even though both systems are at 35 watts. But the 10710U is holding a higher clock rate than the 9750H. But that higher GPU clock wins the day, and it seems that the frame rate is better with the 9750H. Using fraps, I measured the frame rate, and in blue, we have the 9750H, and in orange, the 10710U. So yeah, we get about a 10% improvement here with the 9750H, but to be fair, both systems were very playable. Here is Overwatch, epic settings. This time, the 9750H at the bottom is holding a higher clock rate, but the Prestige 15 1650 Max Q is holding a higher boost clock. I wouldn't say there's a huge difference between them, although when I look at my actual results, there's a definite trend in favour of the 10710U powered Prestige 15. In Metro Exodus, using high settings, we see a similar story in that the 9750H is holding more watts and thus a higher clock rate, but the 1650 Max Q in the Prestige 15 is boosting higher, even though both are at 35 watts. And looking at the average frame rates, we again see the 10710U system having a slight advantage. In Battlefield 5, the 10710U seems to have more advantage as we lower quality settings and the game becomes more CPU limited. I'm quite impressed with the 1650 Max-Q though. This game is more than playable at high settings. 
And finally, in Far Cry 5, we see a win for the 9750H across all quality settings. In the gaming summary, I added up all the frame rates in the various quality settings to determine the percentage difference between the two systems. And for the i7-10710U, there was a trend that it did help with the lower quality settings, suggesting that this 15 watt TDP chip was slightly better at maintaining a higher GPU clock. So that's it. I'm impressed with the i7-10710U chip to be fair. Very good. And if you're looking for a sort of thin and light uh, laptop, looking for, for, for content creation, you know, I think that CPU is pretty good, particularly if you're looking for, you know, good battery life. Now, naturally, of course, if you, you can get more powerful 9758 CPUs, but, you know, you do sacrifice uh, battery life sometimes there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, if you liked my video, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.